Hi guys and welcome to Angling For You and today you join me in the front room for another my poles and what's the best value uh, probably a slightly different name to that but what we're going to do like normal we're going to put in a load of different categories um, and we're going to share my experience and my suggestions again my opinions so i'm sure people have got their own favorites now i do apologize i've not actually physically been on camera for quite a while um i've been suffering with the old shoulder and with work but hopefully the pro series have gone down a storm with you if you haven't seen the pro series you really should some fantastic um professional anglers on there doing some amazing videos and um, you really should give them uh, a view it's the the they have been superb also the big news again wearing the hat today the merch is up the links are in description so do feel free to go over and get yourself something lovely for christmas or just in general so without that further ado we're gonna go into categories now like I've changed it up a little bit from, from like, uh, earlier on, I think I did January, it might be in December last year. Um, I've just changed a little bit the price bracket in very, very slightly, um, but pretty much the similar to, to last year. So we're going to do a starter pole, um, 0 to 150, a margin pole, 150, uh, sorry, 50 to 200, a margin pole, 200 plus, a normal pole from 200 to 500, a normal pole 500 to 800, a normal pole 800 to 1600, a normal pole 1600 to two and a half grand, um, a normal pole two and a half grand to 3500, and a normal pole five uh, 3500 and above. So there's a lot to go at. Um, the starter pole is classed as a normal slash margin hybrid um, of things that I would get based upon just starting. Um, but I have also put in my best value um, category as well, at, right at the end, a 13 metre pole, a 14 and a half, and a 16 metre. And the caveat is that they're not allowed to be in the normal selection. So they're my three top buys for those individuals um, based upon price and what you get with the package. Now, I'm not gonna go into absolutely every package. I'm gonna give you a brief outline on each one as we fly through some will just be a quick dibble in some i'll have a bit more of an experience but again like i say my experience my jumble if you've got yours put that in the comments below so we're going to start with the starters and that's zero to 150 so we're going to start in reverse order um i'm going to have a little notepad so i'm going to pull this up and down uh, as we go on uh, my number three is a shakespeare super team 11.5 meter and that's 139.99 so it sits on a higher end of the starter bracket um and the reason i put this in i've held one briefly um but I put it in there as my number three. It's 11 and a half meters long, so it gives you a little bit more length. Um, if you haven't got a big budget or you're just starting out, it gives you a little bit more variety. Um, so that's why it's in there. My number two is a real beginner's style pole, and that's a Matrix Torque as it's, it's a six meter pole. And again, that's, so that's just under a pound, $99.99. Um, and again, the prices I've tried to get the best, then maybe you may know, know somewhere else that are doing it even better, but everything I've found on the internet, these are the prices. Um, so everything is true to what that is. Um, Cinematrix Talk obviously got a, a variety of different lengths, a solid strong pole, especially if you're getting your young kids um, to start fishing. It's a really good one to use and you know it interchanges uh, with a lot of the Matrix gear, which makes it a really good starter pole. Um, I will add to this as well, trying to narrow down each category down is very difficult and there is some poles that are equal or as good but you've got to name it into i've got to get it into three so that the, there is other good poles at this range so uh, at all ranges so moving from that onto my winner um and this is something that i've had in the past um when i went through a stage where i was to change my gear and i go sometimes i get sort of entry level stuff 
to go along the side of my main pole um, and this is what I did ooh, a few years ago and this is Drennan Red Range, Red Range 8 meters um, and that's £109. Now I thought they were really decent for the money. It's a great little starter pole at 8 meters, um, really strong. Um, it got a couple of different kits so you could go down a margin or you could you could fish it shallow or you could um, use it for silvers it, it, it was quite a diverse pole a little bit heavy like anyone in this um, range um, it'll be when you go at eight meters but nothing obviously unmanageable and nothing super bouncy like um, Mava Reality which I, I wouldn't put in this category because it's awful um, <laughs> for, a, for a better word so that is my starter uh, 0 to 150 range now we're going to move swiftly on as we go through um, and again like I say these are my opinions and I will hold this closer sometimes because I am blind as a bat. Um, so this is the margin pole 150 to 200, sorry from 50 to 200. Now the, the thing about a margin pole is it can be a starter pole but I wanted to make this because I know a lot of people like to catch big fish short or big fish down the edge um, and it's important to have these two different margin pole categories it says it's a big thing in pole fishing nowadays so starting in my number three this is a guru a class eight meter and that's 149.99 now I'm lucky enough to nip out um, my local stockists that do have these A-classes. I've not done any filming with them yet, but I have held them all. Um, and there's some really good ones, even shorter than this, and, and some uh, maybe featuring later on. But a solid piece of kit. Um, and I've also watched quite a few videos where they've been testing them out on Big Fish as well. Um, and they're a solid piece of kit. Uh, and that's why that sits in my number three as a, a really good strong pole like I say 149.99 a really decent buy next one number two is tried and tested it is a beast of old and I would feel comfortable in any situation really using this pole and that's an 8 meter Preston edge monster um, sorry 8.5 and that's 149.99 as well and it just pips the guru because of its it's years of tried and tested. You can obviously make it a little bit more expensive and add a, an additional 1.5 to make it 10 meters, um, which I would suggest to do if you have the money to do it. Sorry, get your cups. And it is a really, really, really decent bit of kit. Um, it's tried and tried and tried and tested. It's It's been around for ages. This is obviously the, the second version of it it's you know there's so many that you see change hands and that uh, uh just stands the dawn of time really it's one of those those really good um poles that are uh, that imagine poles that are out there i'm just going to flick on to um this page here because i've forgot one price as as we're going through here um and I will pull out for you next because of my winner and that is the Sensus Nanoflex uh, and that's the 5G UK power and that's 8.5 meters and that is 199.99 now this this pole is a really really good pole uh, it sends us are under underestimated they they're not always one of the poles you, you might go to in this country for margin poles but you've got to remember sensors have been going forever like they are so big in in the international scene and you know it it's just a solid piece of kit i've used one before one of my friends owns one of them the super strong the super stiff the super light and just an all-round great pole um they're easy to get spares from and fishing tackle and bay have got absolutely tons of top kits and stuff like that in for there and i'm sure there is um other places online 
and that's my number one it might shock people because obviously the edge monster is is usually the daddy in this category um, and it also might shock you that the midi m2 is also not in this category now the reason that i've not put an m2 in there or a browning pole throughout these um is obviously as you know browning um are, are no more or will be no more and midi at the moment are going through either a takeover or again some some change um a big change within what they're doing so i am gonna not put either of those in this category but i think from what the prices i can see the midi m2 is just pushed over into the 220 category now what's really important for me is that the way i've looked at these is that you can get obviously the spares and you can get the additional sections and things and uh, things like that so really important when when looking at obviously this set out so that's my 50 to 200 range now the next is my margin at 200 plus so this is if you just want a margin pole and that's going to be a primary pole and you're not really bothered about how much it costs and you just want it to do the job now let me let me may add right that a lot of the poles that go to the two 250 can handle most things <laughs> like you, you don't have to spend a million pound on, on, a, on a margin pole but what you do get when you get a margin pole that's more money more sections more top kits more probably a cupping kit that you don't get with most margin poles of a, a lower range and, and and lightness it's, it's going to be a, a better quality carbon which means it's going to be lighter um so starting from my number three, again, we're gonna to have to get close, is the Preston Superior Margin 8.5 meters. Now, again, this is um, a really, really good pole. Um, it's super, super durable, um, super strong. It's, it's, you know, they did the response range and, and I did have the response um, when I did, uh, when, when, when I used them, there were, amazing i loved them um but again that comes to an end and the superior range as you all know i absolutely love um and that sort of took place and pride of place um for for this it's you know it's such a great pole and again it's it's just worthy of being in this category um I'm just going to have a look again because we're not doing t too good with the old pricing today. I've been, uh, it, 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 it takes some work to put all this together, I'll be honest. And I think I've just missed two. And one of them is this at 339.99. I'm just going to write that in while we do it. Um, that is a pretty decent price, to be honest. it's it's about what you get if you look around you can get it you probably get it a little bit cheaper if you're a local um, and you can certainly buy them on the marketplace as well for probably definitely under 300 quid i would say so the next poll i've got um if my number two is something that i've tested in the past um one of my friends owned it um it's a super strong pole um it gets doesn't get the Mm, the recognition or maybe the exposure that it would normally get um, and that is a tri-cast excellence um, and that is uh, a 10 meter pole and that is 464.99 so a bit more expensive but like i say super strong super stiff and those extra top kits as well um at, if you go on my reviews you'll be able to see um me uh, to, to have a look at that one it's, it's a great piece of kit um and just worthy of the number two place now number one is something left field um it's one of something that's going to come out quite frequently um within the sort of setup of of this um list uh, and it's it's a it's a, a really like last year a lot of superior poles in there it's a really good set of poles this um I've tested them all, I've picked them all up, um, and this is the first one of many that are going to th be throughout this range. So my number one is the Maver MV-RXX 
nine meter margin and that is <clears throat> 619.99 so it's not cheap Kelver's just bought one of these um, and I've had a, a little look at it when, and had a chance to, to fish with it yet but I hear really really good things it's super strong looks fantastic obviously it goes in with the Mava um, family of poles um, a lot of extras and again that's what you're paying for stiffness lightness extras again like i said at the start you don't have to spend that much money on a, 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 a margin pole you know like that monster at 10 meters will do most things and you could get extra top kits but again if you are wanting things that you have a flagship maver product and you want to get the best margin pole to go with it same with the superior range that is and again with the tricast range that's what you could do so that wraps up my 200 plus margin poles and we're on to the normal style poles there may be some crossover of power poles and things like that but generically these are, are aimed at just being a pole um so again we're going to start with 200 to 500 category now the first one in this range is again making another appearance is a guru a class and this is a 9.5 meter pole um, and that is uh, 319.99 so at a really decent price um again comes with to the top uh, you know extra top kits um a little bit more extra length but it is built sort of around that power pole situation but it's a great little starter um slash next step pole from a starter pole at two to five hundred quid um and that's my number three uh, again a really good pole number two is a tried and tested it's been around for quite a few years now it's the, se the second variation of this pole it's something i've owned both versions of the pole at, at one point or another um and it is probably one of the most well clearly not the most in my opinion um, best 13 meter pole for the money that's out there which is a map 101 3g 13 meters and that's 449.99 now again i dare say if you when a marketplace or you uh, on the map swaps you, you would able to find that for cheaper i'm just gonna have a little drink boys wet the whistle now i'm sure you would get that for cheaper now the only caveat there is the top kits have been a bit more a bit difficult and spares have been a bit difficult they are getting better but they've got to drop a new range soon that 3g has been out <sighs> must be must be in five years or close to four years at least so you, you want to think that map are working on another whether they do a 4g range or they change the net i don't know but if you've got no more than 500 quid to spend and you want a 30 meter pole it's, it's up there with, with the best for that money in my opinion but it's not the number one and i think we know where we're going here it's a pole i've, I've owned myself and it is just an absolute beast um for the money um i found this deal um online which shocked me actually um because it is cheap um and it's the Preston Superium X10, a 13 meters, and I've found it at 489 pounds, which is mega. That is a really good deal. I don't know where I found it, but it was, I think it might have been told by Manor, but that is a great deal. That pole is amazing for the money, super strong, the kits are totally interchangeable. You can get match kits, F1 kits, carp kits. They're all roller puller. They're all bushed. Um, and obviously you get a cubbing kit. It's just great. They are great poles. Um, and this is why I just go on about the superior. I'm not bloody paid by Matrix. Um, by Map, obviously. Definitely not paid by Matrix. Um, uh, not paid by um, Preston to endorse them. I've just had a few of them. I really like them. The not the cream of the crop, but they are. J 
durable and really reliable in my opinion um, and, and I have had some whacking fish on that X10 it's a really good pole so that's my number one right halfway through the list boys near enough so 500 to 800 category we're starting to step up a little bit a little bit more money um, which again better carbon sometimes a bit longer sometimes more kits that's where you're going with the money every time we step up that's what we're looking at so if you've got that little bit of extra money my number three is the mtx1 version 2 and that's 599.99 so we all know where we've been with matrix poles but they have got some fantastic poles um the margin pole is great the mtx1 is great and the mtx2 all version twos are great so this my number three the mtx1 v2 is a solid pole it's this range again it's not gonna be the lightest poles in the world but it is a strong pole it's durable and you know you you're gonna able to drag decent fish in but it equally interchanges with the rest of the range you can get the smaller kits and fish for the silvers and things like that so my number three is the mtx1 version two my number two is the first um i can't believe we're actually the first um the first in for the daiwa but it is a daiwa match winner two 30 meter pole 750 uh, quid so we're stepping up a little bit um and again you're getting the Daiwa quality, the Daiwa kits, uh, extra kits, and a little bit stiffer. Again, 800 quid kind of bracket. We ain't going to be having the stiffest poles that are out there. That's just that's just how it is. Although, again, my number one, and in these two categories, I'm sorry, but they dominate. It's a superior, superior X20. So you're stepping up a little bit from the X10. They're a little stiffer um, than, than the uh, than the um, X10. Not 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 by loads, um, but they are a really really good pole. Now the, the positive from up from there is that you're gaining a, an extra 14.5 meter section, um, which is obviously a benefit. Um, and do you know what? I've done obviously you can see all my reviews. I fished with it at 14 and a half meter. It's not the most responsive and the most lightest, but it's easy fishable at that length. And a lot of the time, if you're just chasing things out or, you know, you're putting fishing it down an edge, you know, it's absolutely fine. Or across to a to an island. And for, you know, 739.99, that is a really, really good package. And again, you can get the F1 kits, you can get the power kits, you can get the match kits, super versatile. Um, and that is my 500 to 800 category. Next category is 500, and this is last year, so it was 800. I did this to 1500 last year, but due to inflation of everything, um, this is 800 to 1600 now. So we can just sneak in my uh, little winner in this one. Um, so that said, we start with the MTX2 version 2 and that is my number 3 at 899 is that 899 let's have a gander because I'm not entirely sure that is that price let's have a look let's have a look at the matrix poles Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes, it is. 899. Where are we? 800 is my small writing, boys. And again, you're getting that additional extension at 14 and a half metres. Which you sort of expect in this 800 to 1600, you're going to want a 16 metre pole or you're going to want a 14 and a half meter pole that's usually when you want to spend a bit more money and you start to get a good 14 and a half meter pole so again as you know like i've said the mtx range in my opinion the v2 
they're quite heavy poles they are they are quite heavy um and i like the mtx2 and one i do because i think those two poles are for carp or, or they're, not, they're not build is it but they're strong and they're for the carp that's what i tend to use them for although you can interchange the other kits and fish silvers and all that kind of stuff for those price ranges and that price that's what i'd be aiming at just a solid rock hard pole that i can drag things out of i think that they sort of fit that bill um and that's why it fits my number three um <clears throat> you'll see a little bit of a theme going on in this one um so that leads me on to my number two and it's back again and i can't i can't i can't do this car grid without having my own pole in there can i um it's a superior carp 16 meter and it's 1499.99 um what can i say at 16 meters it's heavy but fishable um in fact i actually fished it i don't fish 16 meters as you know very often but i did fish a filmed a feature on strip pond at Lindo, where I was fishing a jigger down the edge for a shallow margin film. I had a great day, you know, fished 13 meter, 14 and a half, and 16 meters, and caught all down that bank some really good fish, um, some lovely F1s. And it, it didn't skip a beat. Like I say, it is a bit heavier at 16 meters. It's not really for that, it's for dragging lumps out the edge. Um, but again, it's got the versatility of different kits, F1 shallow, and it's stiff enough. You know, so you don't, to be honest, even at 40 and a half meters, it's mega. It, just when it starts to get that 16 meters, it starts to get that, that little bit of heaviness. But that does lead me on to this number one. And the reason why I changed from 1500 to a 1600 category to fit this bad boy in, because I didn't want it to miss out, because it missed out last year. And the poles have changed in what, in, there's a lot of change in my list actually from last year. And I got, kicked in the nuts for this one and it's and it's not that i didn't want to put it on it just didn't fit in either category um, and i have definitely found this at this price it's at toll bar manor at the moment on the internet when i've done this and it's a daiwa g90 16 meters um at 1599.99 so bearer's 600 1600 now i have had a go of kelves at this um i've had one i've had one in the past myself um it's a great pole isn't it I mean, it's Daiwa, the, the G9, there's a lot of people loving, there's a lot of people that don't. I, I think it's a great pole. It's a really, really good pole, and it's Daiwa in it. You know, you know you're going to be able to get the spares, <clears throat> you know you're going to get the customer service, and it comes with a lot of the great kits, and most of their new poles now are coming with the better kits as well. So, the G90, she's here, and that's what wins my 800 to 1600 category. Right, moving slightly on to the more expensive end. Now, like I say, I don't I don't push anybody to spend money they ain't got. You know, there's a lot of things if you can afford to do the, the low finance things and stuff, there's a lot of stuff out there to get you into a better pole, but you don't always need one and you should stay within your budget. So that's really important. And also along with you should definitely sit with a pole. So don't always just take people's word, my word, your friend's word. Try and get to somewhere to sit with them. Check the reviews. Do your own work. It's not cheap. None of, none of them are cheap. So, so do your own work on them. And don't let anyone bully you out. If you pick one up and you think it's right for you, don't let people bully you out of it. So, that said, 1600 to two and a half grand. Oof. This is going to ruffle some feathers. But we'll start with my number three. And that is the Daiwa Whisker X 16 meter. 1899 quid, you could get a much more or a more power uh, version of it as you can with a lot of the, uh, the um, Daiwa range. I mean, it's just, it, it's a whisker in it. It's just mega. Um, I've had whiskers in the past myself. It's just a fantastic pole. Anything from that pole above, is a great pole really and um, with from Daiwa it's a great package you can tailor it to how you want it if you've got the money go for the tournament um, but the whisk is great I actually what I walked around eight and the other day and there was a guy fishing with it um, with, with the whisker X and I thought you know what <laughs> what a good-looking pole he was fishing at 14 and a half meter and it were 
perfect down the line great great pole and well worthy to be in this list now number two is a new customer in the list from last year well that's primarily because the new poles this year and it's the first outing for the shimano aero x5 and that's 1699.99 i'm going to stop you right here if you haven't picked up this range holy moly you need to pick up this range because this set of poles is something special um i first saw them the, the flagship one when, when i was with speedy at lindome and i ran through to bobco to 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 put my hands on them that i'm telling you these are really good poles you need to go 60 meters really good te new technology special joints there's they've spent a lot of time obviously it's been a long time since um shimano have have brought a pole out and they have put the time and effort in even not brushing it out after covid uh, to bring this range out and it is mega for the money as well 60 1700 quid it's mega you, you, you need to go and check it out but it just falls this one just gets nudged out it's a little bit more expensive at two and a half grand well, it's a lot more expensive at two and a half grand um and that is a maver mv r3 again the maver range in the past we've had ups and downs with maver this is a mega pole like the whole range is really really good um and i've been lucky enough to hold them at the match this before they they release them and in various with various people and there may be some more stuff to come which i'm not going to go into right now but it's a mega pole um and the kit that comes with them the little mini butts and all sorts of stuff that comes with them is brilliant and you can sort of tailor it however you want you need to go and have a try and this is one of the, you get to these this bracket even the bracket before and you need to be sitting with these poles to see what fits you because it might not fit you and the aero might be better for you the whisker might be better for you and it depends if you're just into that that price range or you're at the top end of that ice rate, uh, price range it, it, again this is this is where personal um opinion comes into it but the maver mv r3 is my number one for this category right two more categories before we go on the best value ones the next one is the 2500 to 3500 and we're going into in some brands flagship territory um and this is again a contested this is a tightly contested um category so we're going to just go straight into it my number three is a guru event at 700 at 2850 now i'll tell you now the event has not made my number three for the 3000 plus uh, category it did last year it hasn't this year um and i'll get to that but the 700 is a great pole 16 meters of course it's an they are heavy poles but they are super strong uh, the technology is great they're a fatter pole as well they're quite uh, got girth <laughs> for a better word um again you can tailor the kits how you want f1 power match however you want it set up for you to fish so they have to be on that list does the 700 it's a great poll but number two sliding into home plate for that is maver mvr4 at 2699.99 just nips it it's a little lighter it's a little stiffer it's got for me a more manageable uh, diameter of the pole smaller hands of course um but again it comes with a lot of additional add-ons as do a lot of the poles in this range and i'm really imp impressed with the quality and the usability of it um but that said it's not pipped the number one spot in this category and at 2999.99 that goes to the shimano aero x7 and I'm telling you, it's some piece of kit is that. It is 
it's just brilliant i can't I, I can't wait to get it on the back bank we are getting some stuff done with speedy soon hopefully um and yeah it's just it's just mega i mean at the moment i've not had it on the bank obviously and will be soon but i've had it up and i've had it all, all three of them outside of each other in the shop against other ones and it's just unbelievable to finish the the package the the lightness the stiffness everything about it is just it's a lovely piece of kit and again i'm sure you've all watched the different reviews that have been out there and you can see him alex bones is probably the best one out there because he does all three and fishes all three at length but it's just a great pole and my worthy uh, winner in that category so the time is here to jump onto the final category before the best value range and at three thousand five hundred pound plus this is you do it as a serious competitive sport or you have the money to to just get what you want to get um either way is absolutely fine and again like i said there's a plethora of lists before this if you just don't have that budget but it's always nice to dream about what that budget would be and what those poles are i'm lucky i, I get to mess about with all these kind of poles um and for myself i sit in that 1500 pound category not the I can't afford the main category. It's just pointless to me. I don't fish. For me, an elite pole like that is matches and 16 metre fishing. And for the YouTube, I just turn it over too quickly and it just wouldn't be the right financial decision for me to do. Um, I just wouldn't get the best out of it. Um, and that's why I don't use them, to be honest. I just use my mates ones and stuff because it's free um, or from shops. So this category again controversial and definitely different to last year in fact no poll that was in last year is in this category so that might surprise you seen as the um az pro won that category last year so we're going to start with number three and that is the daiwa arity pro at 16 meters three thousand nine hundred and ninety nine ninety nine and again more power more match depending on which one you want to go and most guy most sort of retailers will do your blend um of whatever you want for this um a new kid on the block one of uh, my uh, close fishing friends has got one um and it's just a mega pole and, he, and he's actually gone from an az pro to this pole um and just for the diversity of it a little bit now obviously Dyer have released the new pro kits but it's the strength um, we fish a lot of commercials and although the, the, the EZ Pro can handle that, I think knowing that you've got something that feels like it's a little bit stronger um, sort of makes you feel a little bit, I suppose, a little bit more comfortable, although he does, does use his M2 if he's going to fish down the edge. Um, but that's my number three, a fantastic pole. They've always been good area poles and this one is no dissimilar from that. It's fantastic. Um, the number two is the Maver again, MVRXX 60 meters, and that's 3,999. Now I've had a lot, a lot of experience with this pole. Obviously um, I did review when it first came out with Kelv, developed it multiple times. I filmed with um, Matthew Powell from Maver and spent time with it there. Um, in a different environment with it being um, sort of an open water environment um, opposed to a, a commercial. It's a great pole, great package, very diverse with what it comes with um, and just well worthy of being number two. But sliding in again is the, uh, the Shimano Aero Pro. This pole, quite simply, in my opinion, is the best pole I've ever picked up. It's not as light as a as um, uh, a browning um, in in regards to their flagship, um, the Sphere. But it's the balance. It's the balance, the strength, the joints, the the, the kit. It, it's a full plethora of things that make it for me my sort of favourite pole that's out there for 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 the money. Um, and if I 
didn't do YouTube and I'd, I'd I sat with a pole and fished with it for three years before getting rid of it. At the moment, this is the one that I would go out and buy. Um, and it's just, I can't say what else. You, you wait until we get out with Speedy and you'll see. It's just mental. It, it's unbelievable. When I first, I was fishing a session on Bonsai and Speedy were doing a feature for Ockbox and I thought, what the hell has he got there? It is like an arrow. And he's fishing 16 and a half metres to the other side. And I'm not joking, it was like a frigging, it's like he drew a line on a piece of paper. So I waited, obviously, that they had a, a filming break, I went over and said hello, and catch up with him. And he's like, oh, this is new Edit Pro. What do you, th uh, um, this is the new Aero Pro, what do you think? And it, it's just unbelievable. It was showing me obviously the joints where you can dip it in the water and then twist them off and they'll, they'll never stick. There's so much new technology that's thought about with somebody like Speedy that does so many different areas of angling and, match, and loads of match angling. When it's red hot, they've thought about that, how the sections stick together when they're wet. They've thought about that. They've thought about when it's cold. The, the, it, they really have spent the time to put into it, and that's why those three poles are in there. And that's why, that's my number one of of Dreamland money. Um, that's what I'd be getting. Um, people might say that, you know, oh, is it diffi more difficult for spares? Are the spares a bit more expensive? Probably, yes, um, because it's not as big as sort of your diewas and stuff like that. But if you always look at that, then you'll never try anything new, will you? So it's, it's up to you. That's just my opinion. But we've not forgot about the best value range. Now I did this last year and, it, and I got so many messages, oh my God, over, over definitely over 100 about these three poles. So I've really, really thought about them to make sure that I'm sure, in my opinion, what these three are. So I've done a 13 metre, 14 and a half and a 16. So these are not in any of these lists and they don't conflict anything. These are basically, for me saying that as a package, I think that the best value package, it doesn't mean that they're the best pole in those cat those these price ranges it just means that i think they're the best package um within those brackets but we'll go we'll roll so 13 um 30 meter is again the guru a class 599 quid it's pretty good to be fair like i say it's not the lightest at 30 meters but it's manageable it's a really good price, really good kit. And for somebody that wants a 30 metre pole that can just rag about, big fish, that's my value for money, 30 metre pole. 14 and a half metres is an old faithful. I've had both a 3G and a 2G, and that's the MAP 401 3G, and that's 974.99. And again, with the MAP poles, you get, you get the versatility of, short kits long kits all that kind of map heritage of years of uh, of great quality poles but like i say there's always that caveat that they may change to another to another pole coming within the next year or so but you might even get less off it so obviously that's a bonus i'll be honest i've never touched wood not that I've got on one, but I've never broken a map section ever. I know people have, and every single pole people have broke sections, but I've, I've, I've had 301, 401 in both, 501 in both, um, a 601 um, margin, a 1001 margin, um, a 101 3G, a 101 2G, a 301, t t I've had loads, and I've never, I've never broke a section. Um, so that's my 14 and a half meters and the 16 meters I can't move it I just can't move it from same as last year superior max 50 1349.99 in my opinion is the best value 60 meter polar on the market today it, it it's 
so diverse with what you can get for it. There's loads and loads of different bits to get for it and it's just a fantastic pole for the money. And from the X50 onwards, it'll interchange with the margin pole as well. Um, yeah, I just can't, I can't move that from that 16 meter. And like I said, there's there's better poles than that, uh, you know, as a 60 meter cost there is. But for value, just can't beat it, in my opinion. I think it's just absolutely banging for, I just, yeah, I can't say, I can't say any other than that. So hopefully, I know it's been, it's an, they're always a long videos these because there's a lot of information to go. Judging by the last one at 21 and a half thousand views, it's a popular thing. Polls are a popular thing. I spent three hours on this list to make sure that in my opinion, I got what I wanted out of this list. It's always a good game if you've got the time or you, you sat doing to, to do the similar list if you're looking at what you want to buy. What are my biggest advice? Three things. Number one, set yourself a budget. Don't overstretch over that budget. Number two, decide what you want from the pole, whether it's a margin pole, whether it's a 13 metre, 14 and a if you don't fish, if you fish open waters and you don't really need a 16 meter pole and you fish or you, and you, or you fish your snake lakes a lot where they're only 30 meters and or you can't physically hold more than that then that's my number two you ju just just think about what you actually want from the pole do you want a strong pole or do you just fish for silvers on a canal so budget what length and type of pole do you want and my number three if you can do it sit on it sit with a box or the chair whatever it is and pick up the pole because it might look amazing on reviews it might look amazing on internet but you might sit with it and it might be it just might not fit you it, it, it it's all about the balance look look at the mtx3 and the mtx4 i don't know if i'm allowed to even say these words anymore i, d I just didn't like them that was my opinion and a lot of people shared the same and a lot and a lot of people didn't share the same because it doesn't matter what i think if you're buying it and you find a balance all right i'm only five six five five sorry and you know a lot of people <laughs> i'm below an average height for a man so a lot of people are going to be bigger than me five eight six foot the balance to them might be different i don't know but I, if you could sit on there and 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 definitely hold it definitely do it 100 percent. so they're my three absolutely must have stick in your budget choose what type of pole you want and go pick it up if you can i do these videos for the for the unfortunate people that don't have tackle shops like we do near us or are not able to get out to tackle shops again these are my opinions feel free to come on on the comments and ask me the questions if you've got anything and i'll do my best to to give my opinion and suggestions and, and put down your favorite polls or what you think in different categories and let's see what you guys think um, about it like i said at the start of the video thank you very much for all the support and if you're wanting some merchandise it's really cheap uh, it's really good quality it's delivered straight to your door <clears throat> i've worked with the guys to, to make sure that we're getting the right kind of stuff. Everything that you buy goes into a kitty that we can give back on a Facebook group. Group We don't make any money from it whatsoever. So it's super, super for, the, for, for angling for you members and subscribers. And if you could like, share and subscribe, that'd be fantastic. Until the next one, guys, hopefully you'll see me on the bank soon with a fishing pole or rod in my hand. And thank you very much again for watching. Tatlines.